Hello! Welcome to the evolution of a rock hunter. Hey, nice to see you again. For you new people, hey, I got free hands, so somebody must have snuck a mic. Well, <laughs> I've been having a tough time getting my voice uh, to not blow the mic apart. So that's the reason why I've been getting away with without having a mic. Well, we definitely have an interesting one. Uh, I have a family or a good college friend. And he basically found out that I you know, have this channel. And he started talking about this heart that he, they call it the dinosaur heart. His grandfather had found it in southeast Idaho. Well, it was used for all sorts of household duties. It was, uh, nobody had the heart to actually break it, you know, any form of destruction. But they had no, no ability to actually cut this item. Well, since his grandfather had passed... And, and left it to his grandfather, Troy's father. Well, now it is in Troy's hands. That's three generations of human life. Approximately a hundred years, this item has been floating around, fully known, in possession but only guessing potentially what's inside. Now I'm going to grab this item. I have been filming in all different ways, but I just want to give it a good fair representation of what truly we are dealing with here. This is the heart. Now you look at that. You imagine individuals being raised, growing, you know, that, in that time frame. When you see something like this, they have been around bovine hearts, any ungulate of any kind. Well, they knew it was a lot larger, okay? but yet has the shape. And even it looks like an aorta, ventricles, all sorts of things was attached. It has a very similar, similar shape. So that nobody, nobody had the heart to destroy this item. Well, he has faith in me to try to make the best cut that I can. So this particular item, the one thing it does have that we're going to be faced with having a dodge, it's got one terrible little crack. You know what I say about cracks, but that right there is not pretty so we're going to probably have to just cut it straight across about into this about in the center zone to see what's in this big heart or is it a nodule but we still don't know what in the world is inside this i guess it would be a nodule kind of like petrified wood petrified heart it just has to be the perfect conditions now, his good friend John brought this piece of niece to my attention. He had heard that I was helping out Troy and his family to solve the mystery of that dinosaur heart. Well, this is going to be a little bit of a supporting actor. John wants me to cut the face in Old Covington. And we'll cut both of these. 
and we will see what they have to observe, to love, all the above. Thank you so very much. Hopefully you subscribe, but let's get these things loaded in Old Covington. Well, I felt like we would uh, do a little bit of a bonus. Let's do a Narrows Deep nodule. You can see she's a little bit rough. Let's just see what the heck that... I'm trying to get it up to where we can see. Don't really want the shed to be in the background, but as you can see, there's some matrix attached to it. Let's just cut the face off of that. Why the one, why Covington, let's get Mini Cubby cutting this one, and we'll save the niece for the Covington himself. Well, the dinosaur heart is loaded. You can see just how large that object is. And we're going to cut right, right, just in front of that one fracture. I don't know how deep that fracture goes, but it's at least probably a quarter of an inch. So, there it is. And we're going to turn on old Covington and see what we have here at the end of this ball game. Well, there's that one. And you can hear the old Covington Jr. just and on, but there's the niece. Loaded, ready to go. Well, I like this. I get to cheat. I have the three items below us here. This is kind of an interesting prospect by Saw. Well, we're not going to be disappointed. I was pretty amazed at these three. Um, and to give you a little bit of a hint... Narrow's Deep is the one that's probably not the best one. So let's start out with Narrow's Deep. Um, I filmed that nodule, put it in old Covington Jr. there, and this is what we ended up with. Okay, and I just want you to look at that. I'll do it one at a time now. I haven't seen that before. Fractures are very minimal. Okay. But there's sedgite sprays, sedgenite, sedgite sprays within quartz. I haven't seen that before. Most of the time it's laced with chalcidinium. So. I don't know what to think about this, but it definitely has its own look. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but let's peek at it. One more time for this one. Boy, I like this. This is nice, but look at those sedgite trace. I'll even tip it up like that so you can see it. Isn't that neat? Okay. Alrighty, now we're going to the niece. I was very surprised. I felt like there might be some banding, something of that nature in this. Well, huh, it very exceeded my expectations. So, drum roll please. Look at that. Look how pretty that niece is. That is absolutely super stable. You know, we got the mineral oil. It just came out of Covington the Senior, the greater. But look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. And there's not a fracture. Very entertaining. You know, it's a very nice large piece. Okay. I, this is what it looked like on the other side. So this individual, John, picked him up a very nice piece of material. Very nice piece. I, I really, I really like it. I'm learning here. 
I, I might not have gathered this one, but this one is very pretty. We'll show the mother. Very similar. But there's not a fracture in that. He wanted me to cut that to where it would display. Nice display laying basically like this. This one's really tough because, to tell you the truth, it might actually look better that way. So, now for the heart. I have to say, I've never seen anything like this. Please let me know what if you have an idea. This was found in southeast Idaho. Summer could be the foothills around American Falls. It could be the tip of the actual lava bed that actually flows from uh, craters of the moon and heads in our direction. But it's definitely, definitely different. Is it a is it an actual uh, heart? I can't rule it out. So we're going to lift this up. I have no clue what that is made of. We all can see that it is actually fortified all the way around. Sure, the world does not look like any petrified wood that I've ever seen. Doesn't look not even close. I mean, but it gave us a little window of that banding and then you've seen the banding on the outside on the rind. The only thing that I could take away from this object is the fact that it has quite a few little hairline fractures in it. And I will pick up its mate and its mate is very beautiful. Like I said, I, I, I have no clue what this what could be forming this i you know i am learning is it iron stone what is going on here so anyway <sighs> dinosaur heart i don't know all i know is it's damn damn pretty and uh, i think he's going to be quite pleased i maybe we could solve the mystery if we cut multiple slices. That's not what he's intending me to do. And if it opened up into a multiple chambers, oof, then it could get really with a big question mark of what this is. But please, this one right here, out of anything that I have cut, this one right here is the one that has uh, dumbfounded me. I have no clue. It is definitely not calcinium, not that I can tell. This is an absolute, well, I hate to say it, a stud. And what history, what history, a hundred years, a hundred years being in the possession of humans, saved from its natural environment to be degraded, broke down, so forth, and passed from generation to generation so anyway thank you so very much hopefully you subscribe gosh we're we some likes we're picking up some momentum it's all looking good for the evolution so thank you so very much and you take care again love y'all take care